what up, 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 hexacans? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Shout out to Base HQ for non copyright free music. So, a background music. What's going on, everybody? What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how Ethereum is the internet of money. Now, everyone's going to tell you to buy Bitcoin, CNBC, um, all your friends, or Dogecoin. They're going to tell you about Dogecoin. <laughs> They're going to tell you to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the one, it's the ringleader. It was first of its kind. And obviously, you know, that's it's got first mover advantage, right? <laughs> everyone's going to say like, hey, you got to buy Bitcoin. But... I'm here to disagree, seriously disagree. And everyone holding a bag of Bitcoin, um, they're not trying to hear that. And that's too bad because what's happening next, what's coming after Bitcoin is really special. And we all just lived through it. You know, like I was 14 when we got the internet. So I've been without the internet and then I watched the internet grow up. I grew up with the internet, right? And so I saw the Googles and the Amazons and everything come out. I saw it disrupt everything. And that's what Ethereum's about to do. Bitcoin's there, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's a great hedge um, and it's a great buy. And I think it's gonna continue to go up. I don't see any reason why it can't go to 100, 200, 300, $400,000, right? So if that's the case, then why should you buy Hex? Or why should you buy Ethereum? Well, Ethereum is the internet of money. What you can do on Ethereum, you cannot do in Bitcoin. Absolutely not, all right? And don't take my word for it. Like, that's the CFC, uh, CFTC chair. Uh, like, late last year, came out and said it. I'm gonna play you a video here in a minute. He likened ethereum to the internet right and it's incredible that he said that and nobody wanted to talk about it all of industry all of business everyone unanimously is screaming buy bitcoin you don't need to do that let me explain why on this tweet here that i posted a while back i wrote aol had first mover advantage over the internet myspace first mover advantage over social media walmart first mover advantage over retail bitcoin first mover advantage over crypto and with hex i'm here to tell you bitcoin just got blockbustered by netflix that's what happened nobody in the space wants to talk about it we're being gatekept and censored because of how powerful it is and it's too bad because Bitcoin's code, the decentralized nature of the code, just ran its course, did what it did. And now guess what? Tesla, $1.5 billion, which put all the other companies in the country and around the world on notice when they did that. Miami is taking a hedge in Bitcoin, which put all the municipalities and cities and then states and eventually uh, countries around the world on notice that this is sound money. This is the people's money. This is the stuff you can't just create and do a little secret tax against people who save money and devalue their savings so that you can fund wars. That jigs up and Bitcoin is driving it. But the vision of Ethereum, it took me a long time to get. It's the best way that I can explain it is that Hex is a little baby Google that lives on the internet of money. It's a little baby Amazon or Netflix. The way that Google, Amazon, and Netflix live on the internet, Hex lives in Ethereum on the internet of money, right? Locked it has very little to do with Ethereum except that when something needs to be done, we pay a little bit of gas and Ethereum does it. And there's nothing to stop that. That's, it's, it's, it's an open global computer 
It's a world computer for smart contracts. When you stake Hex, you're you're minting a CD on your hard wallet, right? Something that's going to pay, be paid daily for the duration of it. But you didn't have to get in a nice little fancy suit and go to a bank and hand the bank over your money. Say, hey, you know, can you give me 2% a year on this, pretty please? No, no. You sat home on your sofa from your phone and minted a CD ladder that's going to pay you trustless interest every single day. You know, if you've got quarterly CD ladders, if you've got a quarterly CD ladder for 15 years, the max in the contract, you have 62 stakes. You're paying 62 future use every single day for the next 15 years. It's literally what you're doing. Okay. So just to kind of prove my point, I want to play you what the CFTC chair said. This is a headline, but they didn't give the video. They don't want to show the video, but I got the video. I made sure and saved that bad boy. <laughs> so I'm going to play it for you. All right. So CFTC chair says he's impressed with Ethereum, likens it to the internet. But let me show you the video so you guys can see it. Let me pause this real quick. see that you guys hear that that's that the games they play in the mainstream media the games they play <laughs> with information it's man it's called FUD it's called fear uncertainty and doubt right so <laughs> um, kind of walking in the lion's den with crypto there's a lot of misinformation. There's thousands of coins to buy. There's all kinds of traps to fall in, right? But there is a way. There is a path. Bitcoin's one of them. Ethereum's one of them. Hex is one of them. And there's probably there's probably a bunch of more coins out there that would would be all right to throw down on. But um. I'm team Hex, um, I'm team, you know, in my own custody, passive income via trustless interest, I'm team internet of money, 
because I just lived it. I just saw what the internet did, right? And I can tell, like, there's no... The other thing that I wanted to show you. That's right. This is the ecosystem that is being built around Ethereum while nothing is being built on Bitcoin. Nothing. It was a little... Bitcoin was a open source little project made by one dude, presumably, and it's spaghetti code, and any change that you try to make to it messes up the consensus, which messes the whole thing up. And so everyone, A, is afraid to uh, innovate on it. The person who, Vitalik Buterin, who wanted to build on top of Bitcoin to make it, you know, you know, for the world so that everyone can use it and everything, looked at the community, looked and said, I can't build anything on this, and he had to go off and build Ethereum, right? And ironically, more Bitcoin is being wrapped and tokenized on the Ethereum network than is being mined currently. Bitcoin's second layer is Ethereum, right? And this is the ecosystem that's being built out around it. And there's another, another image that I saw that kind of looks like a galaxy, right? That looks like the internet, doesn't it? That looks like all kinds of things happening. None of this is going on with Bitcoin. You can't innovate on Bitcoin. But all the adoption is happening because of the media and their lack of vision and understanding and dare I say, corruption and lies, right? All of the adoption is coming into Bitcoin. But they can just sell that Bitcoin from under you for Ethereum or whatever they want. Like, they're... There's no stopping the market. There's no halting. There's no stopping anyone from selling any kind of cryptocurrency ever at all worldwide, right? And there's no, that's something that they've never confronted before because when stocks go down on the on Wall Street, they can just halt trading for the day. <laughs> when things get a little spicy or whatever, they can just say, nope, we're done trading. <laughs> like we saw with, with uh, Wall Street bets and Robinhood, like, hey, we're going to, Actually, we're going to keep the sales open so anyone who wants to sell this so that our hedge funds can get <laughs> don't have to go bankrupt, right? We're going to keep the sales open, but we're going to stop the buys. And then actually, because you don't custody that stock, uh, we're actually going to sell it for you. That's what they did. They stopped your ability to purchase and then sold your position for you. That's what centralized finance is doing in the wake of you know this wall street is a wall street bets is a decent like a it's a worldwide global pump and dump mob that communicates and, and collaborates on the internet that now can compete with wall street and it's taken out hedge funds right you can't stop it you can't stop it and you can't stop this you can't stop bitcoin and you can't stop the internet of money so that's what i wanted to tell you guys um just another hex narrative that hex is going to drive it's going to make the point to these people who think that bitcoin is the end all be all these maximalists that think that there can only be one cryptocurrency as if there's only one car out there right as if the ford model t is what we're driving around in still and there's no such thing as a bugatti right so they can think that they can believe that but <laughs> that don't mean anything right that don't mean anything and everyone's gonna figure it out soon enough all right that's it take care guys i'll see you soon